Okay, so here we go. Uh, welcome back, and we're going to go ahead and post-process this job now. So I'm going to go to my operation pull-down menu, generate ISO code, and we're going to go ahead and pick a post-processor. Let's have a look. I have access to some of our default ones. Let's see, if I go into here and I come down to, oh, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let's just use a FANUC style 3X. Here we go. So if we go to FANUC, mill three axis and we hit post process and we hit save like that we now have our g code and just to point something out i mean this is just a standard out of the box fanuc style post um, we can go here look at our tool calls this is preloading there's my speed spindle direction we're approaching coming down to our rapid plane calling the height offset leading on here's our feed rate and away we go um, g54 of course as we go down the list here, and we just go down until we get to the next next uh, cycle. Let's do a find and go to the next bracket. Here we have our facing. This one's going to be a G55. Remember that Z of 3 we just changed? There it is. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Here is all of the G code needed to run this. Now, the other thing that's interesting here, I don't know if you guys caught this. Let me back up. Let's see if I can point one out again really quick. I'm actually using subroutines through here as well. So that's kind of nice. And subroutines, of course, you can turn on and off at any time. You can come down here, come to subroutines, and choose whether or not you want to use them. Choice is yours. So now that we've posted, we should also document this so that our operator knows what he's doing. So to, op uh, to create a setup sheet, I'm going to save my document. I'm going to come down here and go to drafting. Top Solid ships with a bunch of sample setup sheets. So I'm going to choose operation with drawings to start with. We'll click OK. And now Top Solid's going to do a little bit of heavy lifting for us. It's going to create a multi-page setup for us for everything, which is kind of cool. It's coming in here. Here's a picture of your toolpath. Your G54 is displayed on here, the updated stock model. This is the total cycle time of everything, how many operations there are, number of tools, the author of the tool, the creation date of the document, the last time it was updated, the name of it. Looks like we need to change some of the formatting there, but you guys get the idea. We got some dimensions showing up on our uh, cutter here, the diameter of the cutter, the stick out length of the cutter, that's the shank distance, the name of the tool, the tool number, the spindle speed, feed rates, you get the idea. It has everything. And oh, by the way, it did this for every single setup on here. That's a bit of awesome. Okay. Now, that's cool, but I'm not done yet. What I'd like to do is I'd like to include my fixture setup. So I'm going to come back here to machining and I'm going to go to my entities tree and in my entities tree I'm going to go to a place that we call representations. Now representations are pretty cool you can do lots of things with them but what I'm going to do is create one and I'm going to call it my fixture okay and the reason I'm creating this representation is because I want to include that fixture as well as all of this stuff right so I can come and select it here, or I can go get it from my machine parts. Why not? We can grab them each from there. Perfect. I'm going to green check mark. And now we can come back to here, and I'm going to project another drawing. I'm going to build a new set based on a representation from this document, and it's going to be our fixture representation. We'll green check mark. I'm going to bring this down to here and I'm going to middle click and rotate this into 3D land. It'll be nice. We'll green check mark again. There we have it. I might turn on exact projection as well so we get a little bit more detail. Give it a sec here. Okay. So, oops, looks like I forgot to add my parts. I thought I grabbed the right things, but that's okay. Top Solid's got my back. Let's go back, double click on this, and let's go add the elements in question. I want to have these objects in here also. So I'm grabbing each of them. Perfect. All of those are done. Green check. We come back to here, and there's all the parts. Now, at this point, what I could do is I'm going to go ahead and look at page two. If I look at page two, you notice I don't see that. 
Well, first what I want to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit this object. I'm going to make it scaled up a little bit bigger, about 2 to 1. Yep, that looks good. I'll just stick it right there. I'm going to go ahead and add some notes as well. So I'm going to go down to my rich text right here. I'm going to zoom way up. I'm going to click, and I'm going to call this G54. We're going to frame that like so. And we're going to add that, just so we can point to which the G54 part is. We'll green check mark. We're going to go right here. We're going to make that 55. And again, I'm going to look at it right there. Oops, that's to the wrong one. We'll put that right there. Sorry, got ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and edit this. Let's go to here. There we go. Sorry about that. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down to here. This is going to be G56. To this object here. We're going to go ahead and add our framing around it. And we're going to come down to here. We'll call that 57. And we'll add our leader there. Perfect. And again, the whole idea here is that we just want to be able to document these things. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this view. I'm going to go to pages and go to custom. And I'm going to say, you know what? I would like this to be on the first page, all intermediate pages, and the last page. And what that does for me is that puts this view on every single page of this setup sheet, which is a bit of awesome. So now we have this documented. We're ready to hit print, send this out to the floor, and let our machine start making these parts for our customer.